All right, what's up everybody out there? Hope you guys are doing all right. You see right here? Red Dragon Archfiend. Now, okay, this is the structure deck of Jack Atlas. If you get your three structure decks already, you have the deck already. You can make the whole entire deck instantly just with three structure decks. If you want to play a bit competitive, of course, yeah, there are structure decks, are, there are some decks already with, they play the Beast Drills way, they still play, you know, the Ash Blossom, the Beerus, Ghost Ogres, Yvette Veilers, anything like that. Again, I don't play those, I don't play those cards. So this deck is based on the Red Dragon Archfiend. Now, before I begin, let me tell you something about the Red Dragon Archfiend. Red, Ar Red Dragon Archfiend is a dragon. So let me put it to you this way. I'm not really into running a pure dragon deck. Now, okay, the whole entire deck, there are no dragons, but the synchros, it's all dragons. So, one of my friends told me, he asked me, are you into synchro? Yes, synchro is my favorite thing to do, but I'm not so much of a pure, like you're either a structure, they're either the deck, or the extra deck, it's nothing but pure dragons. So when I did before a blue eyes deck, it wasn't pure blue eyes, it was blue eyes with the kaijus. When I was running it with the, um, Dragon Sworn, it's because it wasn't pure dragons, but I did have dragons in there because it was, a, it was a bit with the Light Sworns. So I'm not a pure, really, dragon deck player. Because, yeah, I have done, like I just said, Dragon Sworn, but that's because it's a bit of dragon and a bit of Light Sworn. When I did Blue Eyes, it wasn't pure Blue Eyes. It was Blue Eyes with the Kaijus. So, yeah, still dragons, but it wasn't a pure dragon. That's my type of thing. I am not really a dragon player. But he told me, do you like to synchro? Yes, I love to synchro. That's my number one thing when playing from the extra deck. Synchro is my number one thing I love to do. This deck, it is nothing but playing synchro. So he told me, if you love synchro so much, why not do this? Okay. I'll try this out. Wow. In this deck, the way I played it, I never synchroed like this before. Like, yeah, I'll show you exactly how you synchro in this deck. And it's just like, this has got to be like the most craziest way I've ever synchroed before in an actual deck. So I'm like, okay, fine. Let me try this. OMG. I can't believe this. So I gave it a try. And okay, fine. The extra deck is based on dragons. Just the deck, there are no dragons. But it's to create the dragons. Red Dragon Archfiend. So, I gave it a go, and yes, this is the deck the way I made it. So, I'll show you what I, I'll show you the deck. So yeah, no choice, but I just went with it. Like, all right, that's it, I'm gonna go with it. Okay, so you're gonna go with three soul resonators. This is the, I guess that's why it's called Soul Resonated because it's the soul card of your deck. This is the main staple of the deck. You're gonna to wanna to go with three. Of course, yeah, one in each structure deck, so that's why I say get your three structure decks, you can get three Soul Resonators. This is the staple to the deck. And it's a tuner, so yeah, there are a lot of tuners. So you're gonna synchro a lot with this deck. So if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one level four or lower fiend monster from your deck, add it to your hand. Except Soul Resonator. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Dark Synchro Monsters. If this card you control will be destroyed by battle by, by a card effect, while you control a Red Dragon Archfiend or a Synchro Monster that mentions it, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead, from it being destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Only be done once per turn. So yeah, search already for another monster. Well, hey, yeah, level four or lower. Fiend type monster. Then you're gonna go with the Vision Resonator. 
I've seen people, yeah, they, they run, you know, like two, one, three, but me, this is three. <clears throat> if a level five or higher dark monster is on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Vision Resonator once per turn, this way. If a monster is sent to the graveyard, you can you can add one spell trap, one spell trap card that mentions Red Dragon Archfiend from a deck to your hand. It'll only be done once per turn. Now, before, like I just said, Soul Resonator only dark synchro monsters. All your synchro monsters are darks, and then that mentions Red Dragon Archfiend. Crimson Resonator. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. If the only monster you control is exactly one Dark Dragon Synchro Monster, you can special summon up to two Resonator monsters from your hand or deck. Except Crimson Resonator. You can only use the Crimson Resonator's effect once per turn. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except Dark Dragon Synchro Monsters. The turn you activate either of these cards effects. This is to help you already bring out so many tuners and you're going to synchro like I've never synchroed before. Alright then, now you got the... Synchron Resonator, it is, it may be just a level one, but no, that doesn't matter to what you're going to be doing with Synchron Resonator. If a Synchro Monster is on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Synchron Resonator once per turn this way. If this card is sent to the graveyard to the... From the field to the graveyard, you can target one Resonator monster in your graveyard, except Resonator Synchron, add it to your hand. These are just helpers to find if it's just sent away, even if it was Synchro Summon. Get a Resonator from your graveyard, add it right back to your hand. Maybe a low, yeah, a low attack, one star monster, but it has a powerful effect when it's just thrown away. Get a Resonator from your graveyard. It's just amazing, crazy. Alright, so Red Resonator, I use one. People would use two or three, but one is my type of thing I would do. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level four or lower monster from your hand. When this card is special summon, you can target one face on monster on the field, gain a, gain thousand life points. Gain life points by mistake. Equal to its attack. You can only use a red uh, red resonator once per turn. Now those are my Resonator cards. Now we'll go with what's not Resonator. Another staple to the deck is the Bone Archfiend. Bone Archfiend. I'll put it right there so you guys can see. Now I'll explain what Bone Archfiend is. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can send one other card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Except this card. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Dark Dragon Synchro Monsters. You can target one face-up monster you control that has the level. Send one Fiend Tuner from your hand or deck to the graveyard. And if you do, increase or decrease that monster's level by one. Only once per turn. Now I'm going to explain to you why it meant by decreasing, increasing, and then when you send a Resonator to the graveyard. This is when you're going to want to do this. And yeah, he is your searcher from the Soul Resonator. That's the one you want to search for. Another searcher you can go for, but I would depend on getting Bone Archfiend instead of this one. But another one you're going to need is Wandering King Wildwing. If you control a Fiend Tuner with 15 attack or less, you can special on this card from your hand. 
If summoned this way, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except synchro monsters, which you are doing. During your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add one fiend tuner or 15 attack or less from your deck to your hand. So yeah, you have one you have one out, special summon. And then there's Askator Dawnwalker. And then Fire Ant um, Askator. Askator, I believe that's what you say, Dawnwalker. You can discard one card, special summon this card from your hand in defense position. Then you can special summon one Fire Ant Askator from your hand or deck. It cannot be special summoned by any other ways from the extra deck. You, you activate this card except Synchro Monsters. Only once per turn. So this is your, like, yeah, discard, special summon, special summon. If it's in the graveyard, it doesn't work. And this is when it's going to come down to, yeah, it's a five. That's an eight. You are going to make a lot of eights in the deck. Well, from the extra deck, you're going to make a lot of eights. Magic cards. Resonator Calm. This is your reinforcing the army to the resonators. Add one resonator card, one monster from your deck, add it to your hand. So it's the reinforcing the army to the resonators. And it does not say once per turn. So let's say you play one, they're going to Ash Blossom it, or to make sure you don't um, do it, fine. If you have a second one in your hand, well, then they just mess themselves up because they already wasted their Ash Blossom. Crimson Gaia is a staple also, a continuous spell card, but this is what I mean, it's a staple to the deck. Well, most likely, yeah, these are the cards for your staples. So, Resonator Cause for searching for your Resonators. Crimson Gaia, during your main phase, you can add one Red Dragon Archfiend or one card that mentions it from the deck or graveyard added to your hand, except Crimson Gaia. When your Red Dragon Archfiend declares an attack, you can change all monsters your opponent controls to a face down defense position. And if a monster or monsters on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one Red Dragon Archfiend from your graveyard. You can only use this effect once per turn. Special summon a Red Dragon Archfiend. Or there are going to be some synchros in here that mentions, that counts as Red Dragon Archfiend. So anything that's called Red Dragon Archfiend. There are some cards in here that mentions Red Dragon Archfiend, and I'll show you in a bit. Now, Absolute Power Force. Now this is when it's gonna get interesting when we play this. Continuous spell card. Target one target one red dragon archery you control if that monster you control battles an opponent's monster this turn apply these effects until the end of the to the end of the damage step one gains a thousand attack two your opponent cannot activate cards or effects three it attacks if it attacks a defense position monster and inflict piercing damage to your to your opponent and four, any battle damage your opponent takes from that battle is doubled. So even if your opponent were to attack, absolute power force on my Red Dragon Ice Stream, and they have to attack it. And let's say it was less, but remember, the first effect gains a thousand attack. Absolute power force is pretty crazy when you use it with your Red Dragon Ice Stream. Then you just got the Harpy's Feather Duster. I would use two, I would use two Raigekis. Not bad to use one, but not three. Three's just too much to me. One Book of Moon, not three. Two Book of Eclipse, not three or one. Like let's say this is your three Book of Moons, at least make one Book of Moon. And the other two are Book of Eclipses. And then just Master Reborn. Those 
or particularly just the magic cards. Now for traps, it's just going to be Red Rain, Red Zone, and Two Compulse. Now, I'll explain each one of these trap cards. So first, Red Zone. Continuous trap card. When an opponent activates a card or effect, or effect while you control Red Dragon Archfiend or a Synchro Monster that mentions it, you can target one card on the field. Destroy it. If you target one of your banished dragon, you can target one of your banished dragon, dark dragon synchro monster special summon. Call me down once per turn. There is a, there is sometimes you are gonna banish a dragon, and you're gonna want him want it right back. Red rain. If you control a level 8 or higher synchro monster, banish all monsters you're on the field. Except the monster or monsters with the highest level. Also, the remaining face up monsters in the field are unaffected by other card effects. Except their own. Until the end of this turn. If a dark dragon synchro monster is synchro summoned to your field while this card is in the graveyard, you can add this card right back to your hand. Once per turn. Now, okay. 40 card deck. Now for the extra deck. And remember, I told you this, I'm not a pure dragon player, but since I love to synchro, this is all pure dragon. So first one of the new ones is the Red Rising Dragon. It's a six, so you need a tuner, bean tuner, and it's easy to make level six. When this card is Synchro Summon, you can add, you can target one Resonator monster from your graveyard Special Summon. You cannot Special Summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of for the activation of this effect, except Dark Dragon Synchro monsters. During the main phase, except this turn, this card was sent to the graveyard. From the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Banish it. Target one. Uh, target one. Level. Target two level one monsters from your graveyard. Special summon both. Remember, remove, right? Banished. Once per turn, bring back a banished dragon. So this is when sometimes you're gonna to want to bring this out, even if you banish it, because yes, you are gonna you are gonna to want to bring out some resonators. Alright, so red rising dragon. Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend, the level 8. This card's name becomes Red Dragon Archfiend. While on the field or in the graveyard, once per turn, you can, do, you can destroy as many other special summon effect monsters in the field as possible with attack less than or equal to this card. Inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent for each monster destroyed by Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend. 8 star, not bad. You're gonna go with the original Red Dragon Archfiend. Okay, yeah, this is the super rare. This is pretty cool. And yeah, it did come in the structure deck. So yeah, we're all depending on Red Dragon Archfiend. This is the new one. You can go three, but I'm using two because yeah, I just need some space. But I think two is enough. The scar, or the scared, scarred or scared, I guess it's scared because you're scared. Well, not completely scared, it's just scarred, like, you know, you're scarred. Something's, you know, I don't know. Something hits you or whatever and you're scarred, there's like no way of, you know, um, healing it, whatever, so you're scarred. Scarred Dragon Archie. This is a new one, and this is when it gets pretty crazy when it comes down to using Red Dragon Archie. Okay, first. You need a tuner plus on dark monsters and it's a level eight so this is when you're going to want to use red, uh, red rising because that's your level six to make your level eights but this is what scarred dragon archery does and this is when it gets crazy this card becomes red dragon archery on the field or in the graveyard so it counts as red dragon archery 
And this card is sent from a monster, monster zone to the grave deck. You can special summon one Red Dragon Archfiend from your extra deck and it is treated as a Synchro Monster. If this card was sent to the graveyard as Synchro Material to, for a Dark Dragon of uh, Synchro Monster, you can destroy all attack monst position monsters your opponent controls. Okay. Even if you wanted a Synchro Summon to bring out whatever you're going to Synchro Summon, Fine then, the effect is I can bring out a Red Dragon Archie. And that's the Synchro effect. Synchro effect, bring out a Red Dragon Archie. This is just like messed up crazy to me. Imagine that, bring out a Synchro monster for your Synchro of what you're gonna do for Scar Dragon Archie. When it is sent away, the effect is you bring out a Red Dragon Archie. And it's not, you know, like at the end phase, Red Dragon Archfiend is gone. No, it's permanent. Because that's the Synchro. So as soon as it goes to the graveyard, I'm going to Synchro. So when it hits the graveyard, Synchro to bring out a Red Dragon Archfiend. Nonsense, it's insane. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Now this is a level 9, not 8. This is what Red... Hot Red Dragon... Archfiend Abyss does. One tuner, non dragon, synchro monsters. Quick effect. You can target one face up, card your opponent controls. You get its effects until the end of this turn. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one tuner in your graveyard. Special summon in defense position. You can only use this effect. Of hot red dragon, red dragon archfiend abyss once per turn. Just insane. Now, hot dragon archfiend bane. This is totally, totally nonsense to me for what it does. It's a level ten, so it's not hard. Cause I'll give you a quick an example. A quick example. Okay, remember I told you, Archfiend, right? Level ten, right? I'm gonna synchro. Make my red Archfiend. Remember, when it goes away, that's what I just brought up. Nonsense, insane. That's a little example. You synchro. But when it is sent to the graveyard, you bring out a Red Dragon Archfiend. Now I'll explain of how more broken our Red Dragon Archfiend Bane is. You can tribute summon one monster, then target one Dragon Archfiend monster in your graveyard. Special summon it when it afflicts battle damage to your great. Uh, damage to your opponent you can special summon two tuners with the same level same level one from your deck and one in your graveyard in defense position once per turn okay i just said just tribute one monster right it means one monster even if you just wanted to okay you have it on the field just tribute one level one and then bring out with everything that's called red dragon arch fiend you can bring out the regular Red Dragon Archie. Or even your Scar Dragon. Because this counts as Red Dragon Archie from your from the field or in your graveyard. It's just nonsense to me, like. That's what I'm saying. I've never synchro like this before. I've never synchro like this before or I've never played huge effects like this. It's just this is just crazy. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend of the Calamity. A lot of people were saying they wanted this band. But I guess they didn't do it. Okay, you need two tuners plus a dragon synchro master. You, you are going to have a Synchro Monster that's a level 8 and then you're going to be able to, you know, bring your, you know... Of course, yeah, your Crimson Blade is going to bring out some... 
you know, keep on bringing out some cards, and then, yeah, it's a level 12, but it's not, it's not going to be hard to do, anyways, too. When this card is Synchro Summon, you can activate this card. For the rest of the turn, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects on the field. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this effects activation. If this, if this dragon destroys a monster by battle, and pick damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. If this card is in its owner's position, is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can special summon, you can target one level eight or lower dark synchro monster from your very very special summon. It is not hard to do. Because I'll show you in a little example. Yeah, I showed you the example of how to bring on that thing. Instantly, right? Okay. Okay, let's just have some fun bringing out a Red Nova Dragon. Okay, we need Red Dragon Archfiend and, and two tombs. Level 12 as well. It's not hard. Gain five, gain five, gain 500 attack for each tuner in the graveyard. We have a lot of tuners in there. Cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. When an opponent, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can target the attacking monster, banish this card, and if you do, negate that attack. Once per turn. Once per turn, during the end phase, you can... If this card was banished by its effect, this turn, special summon... Special summon this banished card. I just put it in just to have it for fun, but... You know, possibly I'm not going to pay attention to Red Nova Dragon, because I'm going to depend on running, making Red... Supernova Dragon. Yeah, another level 12, so it's like, you know, you want to have some fun, not bring this out, you want to bring out your Red Nova Dragon, go ahead. Do that as well. And yeah, Red Nova Dragon, that's two. To make Hot Red, you need two. To do Red Supernova Dragon, you need three tombs. And any non-synchro, um, any non-tuner synchro monster, so any kind. You need to do three. There is a way you can do this in one turn. Must be synchro summon. Gains 500 attack for each tune in your graveyard. Can I be destroyed by an opponent's cards effects? Once per turn. When your opponent's monster effect is activated. Once per turn. Or your opponent. Or your opponent's monster effect is activated. Or when an opponent's monster declares an attack quick effect you can activate this card banish the card also banish all cards your opponent controls once per turn during during the next end phase after this card was banished by its own effect special summon this banished card right back i am just telling you i have never played something like this before This is just insane crazy. Alright, so for example, if Soul Resonator, you would activate. You're gonna search for. So I'll explain just like this effect and then we should see how it goes then. So Bone Archer, you would search for. Activate the effect of discarding one card. So a Book of Eclipse was in your hand, you send it away. Special Summon. I'm going to activate the effect of sending away a Resonator. This is when you're going to want to send away... Crimson Resonator. Send it away. Decrease it by one, so it becomes three. Three, three.
Red Rising Dragon. The effect of Red, Ri uh, Red Rising Dragon, special summon one. Crimson Blade. Crimson Resonator. Then the effect would go... of bringing out two different names than itself. So you're gonna go with Vision. And Red Resonator. Red Resonator. You're gonna Synchro to make an eight. Scarred, Red Dragon Resin, uh, Scared, Scarred, Dragon Archery. Okay. Remove, Red Rising Dragon. Special Summon. Crimson Resonator. So you have a lot of options you can do. So 8, 10, 12. So maybe you want to make a 12, so you can go, all right, let's play that. Remember, you need three. So maybe you did not have your way of doing that. But, okay. That was 12. Synchro, Hot Dragon, Archery King Calamity. Remember, sent away. Red Dragon Archery. Synchro once again. Into a 10. All right, maybe. Hot Red. Archery Bing. I mean, I'm just saying, just look at this. This is just crazy. Red zone. Okay. You're going to set it. Activate it. When your opponent activates a card effect, special summon one back. Now, okay, I'll just normal summon. Remember, I do not have a level four or lower, but I'll just normal summon his effect. Banish. Well, send it away. I could bring out the red dragon archery or my scared or my scarred dragon archery. This is just nonsense insane. Crazy. So yeah, just like in one turn I brought out that many synchro monsters out. Or let's just say the same thing. All right. Bone Arch Fiend. Send away. Crimson. Special Summon. Increase it a three. Uh, decrease it. Special summon. Synchron resonator. Vision resonator. Eight. Remove. Eight. 
8, 10, 11. Okay, maybe you can't do it. Or what if you wanted to switch it? So vision, take out. Or no, let's just say keep it the way it is, my mistake. Keep it, let's keep it the way it is. We have a Synchron Resonator in your hands. Special summoning because you control a Synchro. Eight, 10, 11, 12. Three, right? There's your three. Red Nova, Red Nova Super Over Dragon. And then again, sent away. Red Dragon Archfiend or Synchro once again. Hot Red or Dragon Archfiend Bane. Vision, Tribute. Either one. I always think it's hard to make these level 12s, level 10s. It's easy. And then Crimson Gaia. Crimson Gaia, you can search for Soul Resonator. Absolute Power Force. Red Zone. Vision. Oh man. Because they mention by mentions Red Dragon Archfiend. Crimson 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 Guy, you just can't search for it. Oh. Red Rain also, because they all mentioned by Red Dragon Ocean. I mean, I swear, this deck is just fun. Even if you did not play the competitive way, it's still fun to make. And it's still fun to do. 40 card deck. And then just, yeah. Red Dragon Archie. The test hands video will become will come next, and then you'll see how the deck is played. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. I have my other channel, Artist of Strong Style. I do deck profiles there. I think I did this deck profile on that channel as well. So if you're not checking on this channel, you want to check on the other channel, you can check it there. So if you want me to subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. So I'll speak to y'all later. Peace.